Hi everyone, so today I have these two cute new sets to uh, share with you from Dye Impress. They are currently on HSN uh, ahead of the January 30th craft day, so I guess these are available now. I'll have them linked in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. And these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. Um, I just paired these together, why not? So on this one it's the uh, Label Frames Nesting Dies, and then this one is the stamp set called Perfect Pairs. Super cute. So, um, so let's just open them up and check them out. So uh, let's see here. You know what? I need a bigger scissor. I like to kind of shove this in here sometimes to get that going. And that little guy wasn't going to do it for me. There we go. Okay. So, oh yeah. This one, um, it says nesting dies, and I want you to see like the design of this. So like this one, it has this nice outer frame. I will, of course, measure those for you. Those two look similar in size, but let's see. I mean, the metal to metal is like four and an eighth. Obviously, they cut something a little bit smaller than that by five and three eighths, right? So nesting on a A2 size card, and this one is about the same. But what I want you to see is how this outer one is attached. So that design is there, and then you have these other pieces that are like nesting dies, right? Um, and then we have like a slimline design, which I'll measure in just a second. Let me go ahead and take this shiny wrap off so we can get a better look. And then it comes with a... Um, Elongated folder for your marquee. If you don't have the marquee, you can just put that aside for you know something else. But it's basically for the die and press marquee, the machine. And I do get questions on that machine on other videos all the time, and that's what it is. This little guy, where they'll say, "Oh, it looked like you were using an embossing folder to cut with," you know, that kind of thing. And it's like, "Oh no, it's a cutting folder," and that's the marquee system. Um, I believe there are some available now, so I'll link that too. Um, on HSN. Uh, so as you can see here, they're showing that you can do this way, and then I guess this one doesn't have an inner cutting edge. Yeah, okay, so if you wanted to use this outer one, it does have this design attached to it, so it's going to cut away this area, but it's going to have some little embossing, and then that piece will just be a mat, right? But if you pair it with this next one, then you have like more of a frame, and then you have the nesting pieces. So I just want to show you what that looks like, or what they're showing you here. So that's how you would do that if you want, or you can leave it alone, right? And it would just have that complete um, blackout shadow there. And then you have the other layers. So that's kind of what they're showing you here also. So if you want to use it with that larger die or without it, right? The inlay. Um, oh, or can it be its own matte layer, right? You can use this guy to make another matte layer that's just something you would pop out on top of that area there. And then there are the different designs. This one has um, three others, and this one has two others that you can layer with. And let me get you a quick measurement on this guy. It's a really interesting set, um, very different kind of design. So the metal to metal is like eight and just over eight and a half. Um, by three and three, eh, three and five eighths in the other direction. Okay, so again, layering probably for a three and a half by eight and a half type of um, slim line. And then we have these guys. So again, the different layer pieces here, and then also this guy that helps you make a frame or another matte layer. To be honest, if you just use that guy by himself, all of the other ones have decorative edges. And then this one's called Perfect Pairs, and I just think this is adorable. I saw it on the little sneak peek email blast. If you are not um, receiving Dye Impress email blasts, what you want to do is go to mydyeimpress.com and sign up for their newsletter, and then that's what you'll see all the different emails that they'll put out for their own site, but also HSN and things like that. <laughs> so there we go. Let me open this guy up. And it is raining cats and dogs right now, so if you hear something that sounds like water dripping, that's what it is. Um, okay. Aw, let me open that up completely. It's already kind of open for me anyway. Uh, you can see little, like, bread. <laughs> Super cute. Let me get this off. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. So, let me show you the inspo sheet so you have an idea of what they mean by perfect pairs. And it's just, like, the cutest little kawaii kind of food items. I mean, you have your eggs and bacon. You have your little milk. You have your coffee. You have uh, your peanut butter, your jam, or jelly. Um... I said jam because it has a little strawberry. And then here we have our little like toaster. This one has a little jam on it already. Super cute. We have um, another 
again, piece of bread there, probably with the peanut butter or however you want to color them, it would be the difference there. Um, you have your little butter, you have cookies, donuts, little hearts that are dies. So these are stamps and dies, that's what they're showing you here. This one cuts little hearts. Uh, this one cuts a larger heart, and then it looks like there's a background heart, maybe the one, let me see. Yeah, probably the one that falls out of here, um, or with the stamp, basically. You have this big stamp, and then you can layer this over it, and it looks artistic and fun. There you go. And then we have, like, we go together, like, you know, bacon and eggs, coffee and donuts, milk and cookies, uh, bread and butter, peanut butter and jelly, or um, that's how you would pair those guys up. Uh, you're the peanut butter to my jelly. These are already put together for you in a punny way. I'm donuts about you. Life is butter with you uh, to my butter half. <laughs> That's so cute. You're the milk to my cookies. Uh, together we sizzle, you know, things like this. Super cute. So they have some ideas there on how you might want to pair those. So what I'm going to do is grab a card base. We'll do some layering. Check these guys out and all that and then have our cute little um, characters be our focal point, right? So I will be right back. Standard A2 size card here. If you're making your own, that would be eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Um, and I think I'll do something with the little bacon and eggs. That's so cute. I mean, they're all, oh, I do want to say they're a really nice size, um, really nice focal points for you guys. So like, if you're looking at this guy, I'm just going to measure this, but obviously it has its die. And I don't even know if I mentioned the dies here. I know we talked about it in the inspo sheet, but look at that tons of dice and you know I mean this heart is like three and a quarter I would say and obviously this is a little bit bigger that kind of layers over it so that gives you a good idea there this guy's like two and a quarter inches tall I would say and you know you can see this some of the other items there really cute so I think since I'm gonna go with that I want some red in there I'll probably color my little bacon like a brownish red color so let's see what we have card base I grabbed some red paper just to cut out this one and I'm going to leave that piece out so it's going to have a red you know kind of area here um, and then so let me run that through and then we'll start going from there but let's just trim this down just a little bit and you know can it fit this way it can that's better for my paper <laughs> so then I'll have this piece that I could use for something else I don't keep it too, too tight just in case, you know, this moves a little bit as I'm cutting it. Um, this one also comes with a cutting folder. It has, um, I'm sorry, the uh, Perfect Pairs one. That's where this one came from. The other one has the longer slim line too because um, obviously you have the slim line die in there. And I try to put this a little bit crooked if I can <laughs> so that when you go to your machine, it doesn't just hit that bump and then not want to go. So you kind of give it a little... A little, uh, just move it a little sideways if you can. The most you can. You see, it wasn't very much. But that way the rollers don't just hit and like, nope, don't want to go, you know? So let's get that guy over there. Look at that. Very cool. Again, we could have paired it with this guy next. If you're going to do that, you're definitely going to want to put some tape. So you put them together and it shows you in the instruction there. Put some tape so it doesn't move as you go through your machine. You can use this for a mat layer. Right? Just cut this from another paper. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Should we do that? Let me see. Uh, and then this one. Let's do it. But I'm going to cut this from like gold paper, something that really pops. So I'll be right back. I'm going to use this gold glitter paper. I will say, if you wanted a paper piece back in here, it's super easy. I mean, it's just these four pieces that, you know, come away. So you can just run it through a different color and paper piece them in there on your card. It'd be really lovely. Um, some glitter. I thought since it's talking about sizzle, I don't know why. This makes me think of like sparkly sizzle. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to run this one through and I'm going to grab some paper that, um, for this one, you know, I was thinking I was going to stamp the guys. I'm not going to stamp them on here. This is just going to be a matte layer. So I'm going to grab some alcohol ink marker paper because I do want to color my images with alcohol ink. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, you know, I went back to the red to coordinate back with this. So we put this back. And we'll just have our layers, and then we'll come in with our little stamped and colored images. And so with this guy, pop that right on there. I think it's going to be this way because I want to have my little images kind of going like this. So uh, let's go with that. Put that right back there. And 
This is actually really nice for shakering because it has a really nice edge all around. So if you wanted to make this into like a shaker card and you would have like the this area showing something that'd be really cute. Or if you went ahead and you know paired it up with the uh, that die to make it more of a frame, you'll have that showing through in here too. That'd be really nice. I'm just gonna hold this down for a second. And I'm gonna go right into this one and glue that one down. And I'm just gonna glue this one down too so my characters and my sentiment will be more of a popped up kind of thing. But just glue those down. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our card base. Um, and I just want to show all the embossing detail on that. Looks really nice. And with this one, I guess I'm just going to go for it. So I have some alcohol ink marker paper here. Let me put that to the side. And I'm going to stamp one egg and one bacon. So there we go. And then I'll do the sentiment part later. And I'm just going to take it right to my paper. I think my paper has a little, maybe this side feels better. It's like a little wave in it here. I don't want any bumps hanging around. Okay, so I'm going to use a hybrid ink because I'm going to use alcohol ink markers, but whatever your medium you're using a color with, obviously you want to pair it with something that works. Hybrid inks work for water-based and alcohol ink-based products. Just let it, you know, you want to let it dry before you go in. Cute. So there she is. And let's get our little bacon. And I'm going to leave a little space between them because I'm not sure how big the die is that, you know, the edge of the die. How much paper we need. So I'm just going to leave a little space there. And since I'm doing this freehand, I'm just making sure everything is touching. And that looks great. So there we are. Um, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to grab some colors. It's not going to take too much because, you know, a little yellow, a little something, <laughs> a little red, maybe some brownish kind of red for our bacon, and I'll be right back. I think I'll let that rest long enough. And these are some of the, um, the older Dye Impress um, alcoholic marker colors. I always keep the first the original kit right here next to me, and then the extended colors are just in their uh, bag over here but uh, from those I just found a yellow an orange a real healthy yolk and then um, some red and maybe some brown that we were mixed together I don't know so I tried it here and it looks cute so um, just like an orange medium is what it says here and maybe a little bit extra around the edge and then I'm gonna blend it in with some yellow and apply in the little mouth all color like a red color but for right now I'm just gonna go in here Oh, I guess you could have little pink cheeks too if you wanted that. So kind of blend out some of that orange. And then maybe add a little bit back if you just want it to pop again. Cute. Okay. And I just was going to use a little same red for her little mouth. And if you let that set and then just come back and add another layer of the same red, it'll just give it a little bit of depth, right? Um, we can do some cheeks if you wanted. Generally with this kind of thing, I'll try to add a whisper of color of like light blue or like a natural color or like a tan that's very light whatever you think kind of goes with that white of that subject matter i hope that makes sense so if it's like snowy i go with like blue if it's like a beard maybe i'll do like a gray tone with this one i'll probably do like a natural color I'll, I'll go grab it um and then with this here i think we're gonna do red and brown so this is a dark this is red dark and what i'm going to do is start with that Try to leave a little area in the middle that's going to be white. This is brown, so this one's a medium brown, and I thought that might accent nicely, so I'm just going to put some of that down in these areas here, something like that. Same thing with this side, maybe a little bit over in here. Just kind of accenting here and there. No real rhyme or reason on that one. And then come back in with that red and try to blend out some of that brown. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, with bacon, it's kind of like striated in a way that you might still have a little bit of some color in there. Something like that. Let me grab like a natural color, like I said, to help me kind of do a little something. I'll be right back. Neutral light. It's a very light color. 
And just so it doesn't look like you did forgot or just didn't do it, right? So that's all we're doing, just adding a little bit of color. And if you think that's too much, you can blend it out with a blending, well, not really blending out, but you can soften it with like a blending tool, um, which is basically an eraser. But I'm just gonna get a little color in there, just so it doesn't look like, eh, they just left it, forgot it, however. See, just a little something. Um, okay, I will, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna cut them out, but let me put these things away and I'll be right back. Just let those kind of set up. And let's get our little guys, and then we'll do our sentiment, and we are good to go. So, let me see if I can see right through that. Um, I can pretty easily see, like, where the ink lines are and kind of where I'm cutting this. And I'm pretty happy with that positioning right there, so what I'll do is just tape that down. And then, um... <laughs> I put my tapes on this little rolly thing and I keep forgetting. Um, and then I'm like, where is it? <laughs> so here we are. It's all organized, that's where it is. Uh, let's see here, okay. So I'm gonna put a little tape there. And here, and same thing with my bacon. I think I can probably see through there. It looks like he goes this way. And there we are. So we are gonna have white edges. If you want to kind of minimize that, um, you can go around the edges of your little project like with that neutral color or like a light blue or something just in the background and then when you go to cut it it's going to have a light blue edge or that neutral color edge or however so i'm going to leave it just like this and i'll run these guys through and i'll be right back i do want to show you this is the same one i've been using the folder i was cutting on this side you know this way and then i just turn over i'm cutting on this side you can turn it back over cut it on the opposite side you can cut it on this side i just always kind of flip flop and move those around and cut them from different sides. And let's get this guy off of here. Carefully. I'm gonna peel this one up because I feel like it really wanted to stay there. Oh, how cute. And guys, I eyeballed that and you see how perfect. Again, when I can see the lines, I can kind of like manipulate my die to see where is I want to really place it. Um, okay, so we have these little guys and they are adorable and then we'll have our sentiment like here um let's see i think i'll go ahead and uh, let me grab some paper and then i'll probably do another background color for my sentiment maybe black or something that pops um so i'm gonna grab uh, some white paper and some black paper and i'll be right back and this one i'm also going to just eyeball it um but if you want to use a stamping platform or something like that that'd be great um so i have together we sizzle <laughs> cute and just gonna stamp that here and basically this paper is already squared up so I'm gonna try to stamp it in a way that I'll have to just cut off a couple pieces um, on here and there but hopefully it's straight and if it's not then I'll make some adjustments but um, hopefully if it's nice and straight all I have to do is cut these other pieces two sides letting that really soak in Cute. And these are acrylic stamps. I'm not pushing super hard. I'm not pushing, you know, super lightly. <laughs> Just really making sure it's making contact with my paper. That's what you want to do. And you're good to go. So there's that guy. And so what I'm going to do is just bring it over here. Uh, where's my little guy? Oh, Jesus. I have like a small guillotine that I forget to bring out <laughs> all the time. So I thought, well, maybe we'll try it out today, but no. So I'm just gonna cut this strip. Just kind of eyeballing like how much you know space I have it, um, above the L. That's how much I want to leave kind of below this little area, and definitely eyeballing that. So if we look over here, uh, probably a little too much, just to try to get it as similar as I can. Not too bad. You can also get it closer. I mean, obviously, see if you want to cut more away. And then, you know, I have like maybe an eighth of an inch over here, so that's about how much I want to leave on this other side. And that is that. So, again, we can bring it in more if you would like. Um, and what I'm going to do is just glue it to one of these corners and then go ahead and cut that down too. So, again, I'm not really measuring here. I'm just going to glue it down and then just trim around it. So we have something like this. I'll bring it to one of these corners that is supposedly perfect. I don't know, maybe it's this one. <laughs> and then when I take it to my 
trimmer or guillotine, I'm just going to slice there and slice there. Okay. There we are. And let's bring these little guys back. So we're going to definitely have some fun with some dimensionals. So what I'm going to do with this guy is just kind of put some dimensionals that pick it up in the back. And... Something like this. This guy will probably need two. Back there. This guy's going to need one at least. Back here. So it'll be something like that. And then we have these little guys. Okay. So let's just take this off here. And there are a few other sets available right now. So I'll link in the description box all the different ones that are available. I'm going to hold that down. <laughs> then this little guy and of course I'll have tutorials for all the new items as they are available and I believe Dime Press is doing a live like sneak peek on their channel on the 25th I want to say so I will have that information in the description box so you guys can check that out when it's happening and look at that okay pop those guys up I'll do two there, one here and two here, just to really keep it nice and safe. And there you go, guys. So I'll have some images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. Super versatile sets. Um, really, really cute. I um, mean, look at that. And let's do together we sizzle there. That looks pretty center, I think. I'm looking like all these different things that are happening here. All right. And I'll have the links in the description box, and I will see you all at the next one. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. The little faces, uh, just make it. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.